Hi, this is Michelle, and it's my first time using Camtasia. And um, let me show you the site I want to share with you today. <clears throat> this is called Quizlet.com. I'm just going to log in with my Facebook login. And Quizlet.com is where students can create their own study products. They create their own flashcards. They can play games with them. They can test themselves, quiz themselves, and learn their content you know, before they're required to. Uh, there's a lot of differences between making flashcards on pencil and paper and Quizlet. So number one, it does speak to the digital natives that we teach. Um, being able to do something on their computers and share it with their friends and um, embed it on their blogs or send it to their Facebook to share with their friends, that's a really nice feature. That it has which also makes it a web 2.0 tool and it's just so incredibly easy to make flashcards so that's also a, a feature that I love I'm gonna go to my dashboard right now and you simply just create a username all of my students have their own username so that they can create their own student products and let me just show you what one looks like right now um, here's the third and fourth phases of the Revolutionary War Right now, when you look at the, um, the flashcard, it's showing both sides. And they can choose whether to look at the term first or both sides. They have that. And then you just click to flip the card, and this is how they study. They go to the next card. These are the people. These were the riders. Um, you could do the term first so that it goes, it asks a question first and then gives the answer. And they just study like this, or they can use the learn feature, which is right down here. And you can prompt it with the term, or you can prompt it with the definition, and then just put in the answer so that they can, they can check themselves, and it will actually grade it for them. Uh, once they're done with the learning process, I'm going to go back to the set page really quick, they can actually play games with it, the scatter game. Um, the scatter game means you have to drag the terms onto the um, definitions. <clears throat> so you just drag them on, and if it's not correct, nothing will see, it'll just move away. Let's see. So you have to do, you have to have the correct answer for it to actually move away. And you can spread this out if it gets um, if it gets a little too messy. See, these are not the right definitions, so you have to put it on the right definition in order for it to disappear, just like that. So the kids get to play games with it. I'm going to go back to the set page. <clears throat> There's another game called Space Race, and you can look at that in your own time. They can also test themselves. They can choose what kind of question types they like, how to grade it, whether or not punctuation matters. Um, they can prompt it with the term or the definition, whichever works easiest for them. They can even decide how many questions they want. And it will give them the questions based upon what they chose. It's a really good way for them to learn their content on anything you want them to memorize for a test. And here's the questions, reconfigured the way the students preferred them or if the teacher prefers them a certain way, they can um, set up their, their question types the way the teacher asks them to. Now let me show you how incredibly easy it is to create your own flashcards. I'm going to go home. <clears throat> and um, there's a lot of stuff going on at home, and I'm not going to go over this right now, but I'm just going to um, make flashcards. I give it a title. I pick a subject, say it's for English, and I can give it a description, whatever my description is going to be. I can allow set discussion, which means people can comment on my set, or I can disallow it. I can also make it visible to everyone, or just me, or password protect it. When the students are making their flashcards for themselves in class and it's an assignment, I ask them to make it private password protected because I don't want other students just ripping off their work. So I ask them to use people with a password 
<clears throat> and I asked them to choose a password, and they just all gave me the password. They put the term here and the definition here. You can also add images, and the images will come from anything that's available on Flickr. So if you put the term here, um, bear, you can select auto define bear, and it will give you some choices, or they can use the one from their book. If you select it like this, because that's the kind of bear we're talking about in English class, um, then that's the one that they should use. Uh, they can, they can auto-define it or they can just put in their own definitions by typing in. When they're done putting in all their terms and definitions, <clears throat> they just hit create a set. And they can put in as many as they need to just by adding a row. If you add a row, but there has to be at least five in order to create a set. When they're done, they just hit create a set and it will show up in their dashboard. Once it's in their dashboard, they can choose what they want to do with it. Um, let's just click on the Revolutionary War, War one again. See, they can invite friends on Facebook. They can post it to share it on Twitter. They can link or embed it in their blogs. They can add it to a group if they have a group on Quizlet. And um, you can see I do have some groups on Quizlet. Fairfield Township School. And this is one of the things that we shared. And... Um, it's telling me I have zero friends online. It's just so easy. Um, another wonderful feature about Quizlet, and I'm just going to be brief here, is that you can search for sets on anything. Lifecycle. Because not everybody makes them password protected. A lot of people just share them. Say I wanted to do the life cycle of animals. I typed in life cycle, and I see what all the different choices were. Let me look at life cycle of animals. Hmm. Now I want to see what all the terms and definitions are that they have for this to see if they work with what I need to study. Hmm. I don't think this one fits. I like this set. I might want to add one or two more and I definitely want to take this one away. How do I do that? Well, I simply export the set. When I'm in the export area, I can reuse this set. I'm going to reuse these terms. Give it a title, give it a subject, give it a description, and then I'm going to go through the terms that are there, and I'm going to simply remove the ones I don't want and add ones that I do, and then I'll create the set. And now the set exists in my dashboard, because you never know if someone's going to pull a set from their uh, dashboard. If, if you find a set that really works for you, that you want to use, you want to export the set and recreate it and keep it in your own dashboard because, you know, with Web 2.0 tools, we always want to cover our backs. So that's Quizlet in a nutshell. I hope you um, spend some time on it. Um, as a teacher, you can create Quizlets and have your class just pull them to study from, or you can ask them to create their own if they have access to um, an email address where they can create their own account. That's it. Enjoy the day.